everybody, this is Roxy, and um, Marie and I bought the purse, what is it, Everyday Purse Builder Set and Stamp Set, and uh, we made some, she made a bunch, and then came over and we made some together. Um, I just made this one the other day, yesterday actually, and I'll just show you how every piece goes. This is for two handles. Luckily, she brought her set so we could just kind of use them all so you don't have to keep cutting over and over. So anyways, that's the handle. This piece is this piece, which includes the gold circle and then a tab under here. So um, we just cut it under, cut it out of the foil, and then you take this piece and for your either this, your decorative trim or whatever, Cut that out and then put it over that piece. So there's that. This piece is right here. And that just wraps around. And then it cuts out that half circle. Which, when you're running your dies through, you want to cut this little piece out, which is the half circle there. And I've lost this twice already. So um, when you do it, you, oops, where'd it go? It's like a magnet or something. You kind of want to just put it down, and she figured all this out. I'm not taking any credit for this. Um, you put it down a little bit lower than that piece there when you run it through. So then you'll get it right where you need it, because see, it has to be down below that, so it's even probably a little more. Like you can kind of eyeball it. I think that's about right. And then that piece is for the closure. Um, this is the tassel. And that piece is also this one. And there, of course, the tor corners. you got to cut four of those out. And then this is for like a little tag where you would cut another one of these and string it through there to string it through there. So that's that one. And then <clears throat> this last summer, get in there. I bought a bunch of vinyl, embossed vinyl from AliExpress. So I thought my first, this is my first purse I made. So I used the vinyl, it's perfect. But what I did, it was kind of flimsy you know, because it's just vinyl. So I put a paper backing on it of some old can company paper. And I love the feel of it. It's nice and solid. And these will hold gift cards, candy, jewelry, whatever. But they're adorable. So I made my, this is my little Brahmin purse. To match my Brahmin, only mine is in uh, more of a... Um, Orangey rust. Anyways, these are the tags. I think this says, hey. Yeah, hey, friend. So you can pop it up. Hey, girl. For you. So you can stamp these on the little tags or stamp that out as the tag. All right, so let's put one together. Or actually, I will, and you watch. Mm, so, I don't need that. I've already cut some stuff out. I'm going to make a blue star purse with um, red star accent pieces. So, I don't, you know, you can use a bone folder. But I kind of don't because I like it to be, I think the bone folder can break a lot of fibers. And especially for corners and stuff that you're um, wanting to kind of keep strong, I don't want to do that. Because you want it as sturdy as you can get. And I've noticed this side doesn't fold well. And then there's a, a line going down and two diagonals. So you want to kind of... That's the tricky one. And then do the back. 
And when you're doing this die, don't don't flip it unless you're doing an interior. You just want to run them through like that because then they're going to connect like that. But if you do an interior, you do have to flip it. So it doesn't fold well. That's really faint. So I don't know if it's what the deal is. Anywho. There. And then we'll just do some blue. kind of just get up to the edge there with this one and then I'm just going to check that. And then I do want to use my bone folder just to make sure those are nice and glued. And then of course down here, kind of spread out the glue out to the edges and then reattach that one. We'll let that dry.
So you want to put it in here first and then over to the back. You don't want it too tight. So there's the new little builder die. I hope you give it a... Oh, I was going to say too, there's the little tag. If you can see that little... This part also works for that, as I mentioned before. But um, there you have it. And thanks for watching. Bye.